So is molten speed wax, molten speed wax, is it safe? That is the question I asked Zero Friction Cycling in a video. And instead of making a response video or jumping on my podcast, what uh, Zero Friction did, and that is one hell of a clickbait name in my opinion, Zero Friction, as if that exists in cycling. What he did in response to my question of, is there a safety data sheet for the products you sell? Is it safe? Are some of these products having cancer-causing elements? That's my question. Uh, instead of answering those questions in a civil, adult, mature way, what Adam did instead is he initiated legal proceedings against me in regards to a defamation notice, all right, claiming I am defaming him by asking him, is this excessive toxins exposure? Is this excessive? Is I'm asking questions, all right, I'm asking questions. Um, so that's what he did. So instead of providing us, you know, Mr. Adam, Mr. Numbers and data, instead of providing the data, he just responds with sneaky, legal, in my opinion, bullying. Uh, so there you go. Yeah, there you go. That's who you're dealing with. Corporate people, corporate types. Instead of answering the questions openly, they go behind the scenes and initiate legal stuff. So this is a safety, and I won't, I will not, I will not be snuffled or whatever or muzzled all right i have questions we all have questions about safety i want to know if the products i'm using are safe and that was my concern with squirt lube i was like is this safe because i was using triflow which is in my opinion questionable and then i was getting into chain waxing and molten speed wax etc and in my opinion questionable because i'm like are these safe i don't know all right because all the stuff's flaking everywhere. It's flaking when I go for a ride. It's flaking off my chain. It's flaking on my drive chain. It's flaking when in the garden where the cats walk. Is it safe? Where's the safety data sheet, Adam? You know, or molten speed wax or any of these people. Anyway, so be careful. Don't ask, don't ask those questions though. You know, don't make a YouTube video about it because Adam might come after you too. Anyway, this is the question here. Uh, this is squirt. This is the lube I've currently been using for the last decade uh, as a mainstay. And they have their safety data here, okay? They have their safety data, they have the ingredients and stuff like that. So, is it perfect? I don't know. But uh, this is the best I can get at the moment, okay? So, I like it that they're transparent and providing some safety data sheet. But, you know, I asked a question to Adam in a video and, you know, online, etc. and in person. And what do we get? What answers do we get? So, here's, here's the response video to you, Adam. Where is the safety data sheet of your products? Okay. And uh, based on your website, I do believe that how much solvents do you recommend people use just to clean a bicycle chain? This is my opinion. Sue me if you want. I believe that's excess solvents. All right. <laughs> what a fucking joke. There you go, people. There you go. Eventually, people expose what they're really about. And just extending a bit of kind candor, because I treat people how I want to be treated, to Adam. My question to Adam, I think someone uh, linked me to a video where he released his uh, profits and stuff, his income. And he, Adam claimed he's earning about $40,000 a year profit for all the work he's doing. All right? And it seems like a lot of work, because chain waxing, in my experience, is a shit ton of faff. And if you're waxing and cleaning all these other chains, that's a lot of faffing around, you know, packing and posting. And he's only getting about 40 grand Australian a year. 40 grand. That's fucking peanuts, man. So it's a good thing his wife is earning the high dollars being a doctor. And she'll be working very hard for that. Um, you know, so my question to Adam is why? You know, why are you exposing yourself? This Again, this is my opinion. I'm not stating this as fact. But I don't think, in my opinion, it's safe to be in an indoor environment breathing in all the vapors from the waxes of the chains, the molten speed wax or whatever you're using, whatever. That's my opinion. I have concerns for you in terms of safety, breathing in the vapors. All right? That's my genuine thing. Like if I was in a, if I, I, mean, I worked in the bike shop back in the day, and if my job was to wax chains, I'd be thinking, all these vapors, man, like, you know, like, is this safe? I'll be like, you know, hate to be the stickler, but... What's the long-term consequence of breathing all these vapors? And so that would be my question to Adam is like, 
bro, is it worth it, man? All right, is it worth it? Breathing in all those vapors, are they safe? Are they dangerous? Do we know? I don't know, man. Like, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think if you earn a 200 grand profit in your pocket a year, it's going to be worth it. I don't know. So that's my genuine question to Adam as well. Uh, do you have any health concerns regarding breathing in all the vapors from those crock pots and chain wax pots, etc.? Just, is it safe, man? Like, honestly, bro, is it safe? I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't think it is. And you want to take legal action against me because I'm asking those questions? Like, bro, like, that's alarming, man. That is, that is very alarming, in my opinion. 